Lindsay, good morning. What can we expect to read in this explosive tell-all memoir? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, a lot of rebel revelations. The actress spoke about struggling with severe loneliness after finding fame, uh, yearning for love, but feeling unattractive because of her weight. And Nicola, she lived off of $60 a month while filming the wildly successful Bridesmaids, uh, which I mean, I don't think that any of us ever imagined. You look at somebody like um, Rebel, you don't think lonely and you don't think broke. So um, she's getting very, I mean, she's being very transparent in this book, but obviously some of the accusations stealing headlines today are these Sasha Baron Cohen accusations about you know abuse and sexual harassment on set. Mm. Yeah, well, we, we know that Sasha Baron Cohen is very keen to make clear, saying that these claims are false, they're directly contradicted by extensive detailed evidence, including uh, documents, film footage, eyewitness accounts. Um, despite that, Rebel Wilson's keen to keep sort of, you know, shouting about this and making the allegations even louder by publishing these books. What do you think her motivation is? You know, I think her motivation ultimately is transparency. And, um, you know, I think when you go through an experience like this and then all of a sudden you're given the platform to, um, I guess, tell tell your side of the story, maybe you take advantage of it. A again, I want to stress that, that Sasha says these things are not true. And uh, according to the Sydney Morning Herald, uh, there are two re giant reschedules of the publishing of this book in the UK. It's been delayed until April 25th in Australia. Um, no official release date, sometimes next month. And the Sydney Morning Herald said that is likely due to legal drama involving Sasha Baron Cohen. And we saw something similar with the Britney book when Colin Farrell and Justin Timberlake's attorneys reached out to her publishers and said, we want we need to have a word with you about some of the accusations in the book. Um, so I, I don't I don't think she's an attention seeker. She's not that type of person. She just seems really brutally honest throughout this book, Rebel Rising. And Kinsey, we know that uh, Sasha's no stranger to legal proceedings, but usually he's the one being sued for various antics that he's um, taken on during the filming of, of, you know, his very, very famous Borat films, etc. But this time, could we see him taking someone else to court? Do you think that there's a case for, for potential defamation? And would that happen in America? I think there is a case for it. I don't think that he would pursue it, though, because uh, we have something that we call the, the Barbara Streisand effect or the Streisand effect here in the States, where Barbara sued somebody that had taken photos of her house. And in doing so, she elevated the, the you know, she elevated the fact that these photos existed. So I think he would be drawing more attention to the accusations if he did take her to court over this. Mm -hmm. What, what Rebel's also trying to do is just talk about some of more of the inside of the actual practicalities of the industry, whether it's how much she was earning, how she was sort of shamed about her size. Do you think there are sort of repercussions that say, actually, you know, we, we do need to look again about the type of conditions people are working in? You know, I would, I really wish that that were the case. I think that she has built herself up into a position where she has the freedom to have that kind of conversation, but everyday people don't. And after the strike, the writer's strike, after the actor's strike, I think so many people are desperate to get back to work that they're going to deal with poor conditions again, if I'm being honest with you. It's so tricky, isn't it, Kinsey? I think you've, you've hit the nail on the head. I've, lots of my friends are actors, my partner's an actor, and a lot of the conversations are at the moment, a lot of standards seem to have dropped because people are so, so desperate uh, for that kind of work. And unfortunately, that's when, you know, people, I'm not saying necessarily Sasha Baron Cohen, of course, he denies all these allegations against him, but when people are victims of abuse of power, etc. But it is a positive thing to see a woman like her speak out against injustices within the industry, isn't it? I completely agree. And I think that she will open up a lot of new opportunities for herself because it's like she said she was tired of playing a very specific role. I mean, she was signing contracts that told her she wasn't allowed to lose weight and she wasn't allowed to do all these things to improve herself that she felt like it was important to do to love herself. So, you know, she's made all she's made us all aware of those situations and now somebody's going to look at her and say i'm inspired by the story and i'd like to give her give her an opportunity elsewhere interesting well thank you so much